Reporting to you live from Koreatown in downtown Toronto. It's live from last week, episode 91. Let's go! Welcome, you month of the Joe Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today, while the wife and I were chilling at home, we heard that Blackpink, one of our favorite K-pop bands, were having a concert in Hamilton in early November. So after waiting in line for several minutes on Ticketmaster, we tried hard trying to find a promo code to buy tickets to their concert. And lucky for us, I was able to secure two tickets to their concert in Hamilton in early November. Then, after having a quick night shift nap, I met up with a couple of my co-workers for the first game of a doubleheader series with the Jays at the Rogers Center. Cheers, Looney Hot Dogs. <laughs> I think I got paper. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Let's go! As well as during the game, we did a quick little shout out to one of our former co workers who just successfully passed the G2 driving exam. Congratulations, Marlene! Now you can drive us home. <laughs> and after checking out the game, literally less than 24 hours since we were last at this place, the group of co-workers and I checked out the local establishment called The Rec Room. And after less than 24 hours removed from being at The Rec Room last night, I got one thing to say. Long time no see, Rec Room! <laughs> And it's sort of funny because afterwards, at a local place where we've been to before at a previous Live From Last Week episode, we had a picnic to try out some freshly fried french fries as well as some delicious margarita pizza at the local Olympic Park. And there's Marlene's tree. Marlene's tree because she found it when we wanted to do our first picnic. We saw some aggressive squirrels trying to get at our food that we just bought and eventually shooed them away so that we could actually enjoy our picnic. Anyways, after that, my coworker Sydney and I checked out the second game between the Blue Jays and the Tampa Rays. Yo, second game of the double header. <laughs> Let's go Blue Jays. Yo, the Looney from Looney Hot Dog Day, yeah! Woo! Boo, 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 boo. And check this out, guys. I met a couple of local celebrities while I was at the game. Check it out, guys. I'm here with the famous hot dog guys at the WestJet Flight Deck. Woohoo! Let's go, Jays! Let's go, Blue Jays! Woo! 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 As well as these guys who are standing beside us. Quick shout out to Farhad. Jay, my body. The Swarmy Queens, you gotta check us out. Days I will be there. Well, try the food, but give us an honest review, please. All okay. right, man. Far high from Shawarma Queen. Shawarma Queen. And Bizad, yo. Big muscles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna visit them sometime soon Anytime, in the near brother. future. Appreciate that. Thank you. Sick. But, anyways, after the Jays had won the second game of the two game doubleheader, Ready to wrap up today's episode with a couple of birthday greetings. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my friends on the DQ House League soccer team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kaylee. Happy birthday, Kaylee. And secondly, I got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends, of whom I've played with in beach volleyball twos back in the past. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Joanne. Happy birthday, Joanne. I'm hoping that all my friends that are having their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and have a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, with all the fun that I had last night, 
this morning I was really thinking that I had just a little bit too much to drink. Just speaking on the fact that overnight I had to sleep on the couch. And waking up several hours later to have just a basic rest day. Watching my newest favorite film, Disney Pixar's Lightyear. Just to recover from all those beverages. Anyways, I'm here at the Scarborough Go Station, ready to catch my third Blue Jays game of the week when I heard that the sister was in town visiting from Ottawa. Welcome to Toronto. I just can't get enough. <laughs> oh man, hasn't even been 24 hours. for fries from Longos once again. room tonight for the third time in three nights. So Nika, welcome to the rec room. What? It's kind of like Palladium. <laughs> Go. So Nika, how was your first experience at the rec room? It was amazing. <laughs> kind of reminds me about how on Monday night, if you guys can remember from these scenes from last week's episode, after I was on my way home from hanging out with the co-workers at this exact location, we took a downtown walk all the way to King and Spadina area, got a bit lost, then I had to run all the way to Union, almost two kilometers away, to catch the last train of the night. But yeah, it's time to wrap it up for festivities of the night. Bye sis, have a nice commute back to Ottawa. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So today, since I remembered that tomorrow is actually my sister's real birthday, and I didn't really wish her happy birthday while I was with her yesterday. We made a more than 50 minute rush hour traffic trek to arrive here at the Oshawa Go Train slash Via Train Station to do one more little surprise for the baby sister. Come, come 
Oh my gosh! Surprise! Surprise! Hatcha! Happy birthday, hi! From Yorkdale, we got a gift for you, okay? Your train is leaving, Nika! Hold your candle. I don't want it to drip wax on me though. It's drip wax. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Nika. Happy birthday to you. Okay. And blow out your candle. Yeah, blow it, blow it now. Woo! <laughs> Okay, Nika. Birthday bubbles. It's not working. It does work. Ready? Yep. There, how come it works so well for you? There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> wow. Did you pick this up last night? <laughs> And I didn't clean it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Nico. <laughs> so after sending the sister off to catch her via train over at the Oshawa via station. Nico! Yeah, she waved! <laughs> and of course, doing a surprise birthday celebration on the train platform. I was back here in Scarborough at the Warden TTC station to drop off the wife so that she can make her way downtown to catch a screening of a movie for the TIFF Toronto International Film Festival. So now that I have some free time, I'm just wondering what I could do while the wife is away. And the first thing on the agenda is to do some birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who I used to work closely with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dorothy. Happy birthday, Dorothy. And now a birthday greeting to one of my best friends that I've had, a dude who came to my bachelor party, somebody who I knew since I was younger and who I last saw and visited in St. Catharines when I went to visit him and his daughter. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Antoine. Happy birthday, Twan. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now, let's see what's next on the agenda for tonight. Haha, <laughs> just kidding guys. But honestly, before I passed out last night, I recalled that from the previous day, going to the Jays game with the sister, I was helping the cleaning staff with the sister catching this pic of me. And by the message on the Jumbotron telling us to keep the ballpark clean, I just may have taken one or two or maybe even more of those souvenir cups with me. And yesterday I remembered that I had to wash these new collection of cups and store them away before the wife had returned home. Anyways, back to this morning, where we tried to look at ticket prices from the general public sale times for the Black Pink concerts. And boy oh boy, there were some crazy high ticket prices that ticket resellers were putting their tickets at. I mean like tickets that I bought only a couple days back were going for three or even four more times than they were originally priced at. Not to mention Ticketmaster's new official platinum tickets that they sell which I believe is their way of buying up all the remaining seats and selling these seats at a price that is just as much, if not even worse than what's going on on the prices for the resale market. But yeah, just looking at these prices, I was a little bit tempted on if I should sell my tickets too. But to be honest, since I've been waiting for this show for more than three years, I'm going to try not to be tempted to become a ticket scalper, keep my tickets and go and watch the show. And I've also got another reason why I want to keep my tickets. It's because I want to use this great quote in history that hopefully will inspire you guys. And it goes a little something like this. I can always make money, but memories are forever. 
Elijah De Los Santos. But moving on, check this out from earlier. So I just got a phone call saying that there's a package delivered to our front door, but I don't think I ordered anything in my recent memory. But anyways, I'm gonna go downstairs and pick it up. Ooh, the wife bought something without my knowledge. Let's go open this baby up. The wife previously went online to buy us a matching set of brand new yellow colored jackets. From Mountain Warehouse, which I proudly displayed here while editing some live from last week footage. As well as modeling here after the wife also got us some brand new American Express credit cards. And before we go on, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my beach volleyball friends who I played with in Rob's beach volleyball group back in previous summers. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. And secondly, a birthday shout out to a person who we celebrated their birthday with, surprising them just yesterday while we were on the Via Rail train platform. This birthday shout out goes out to my sister, Nika. Happy birthday, Nika. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that are celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After leaving you guys yesterday, the wife and I made our way to Mississauga to meet up with the Saga family to have some dinner and to play with this little pup who's being babysat over there for the weekend. The good old little doggy by the name of Sesame. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Does it mean? All right, ready? Good boy. And while we're on the topic of pets, unfortunately, I have a bit of sad news to share with you guys. Remembering the time that I was helping clean that fish tank in the basement of the Saga family's home in that previous Live From Last Week episode? Well, the old fish that was living in that aquarium passed away this past week. You will be missed, little fishy. But moving on, while we were driving home last night, remembering that last week we marked the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, we noticed, going through downtown, that the CN Tower paid homage to the late Queen creating a unique image of a crown with the lights that are located just above the main observation deck of the tower. But on to today, check out this scene. When I got a special delivery from an Uber Eats driver who funnily enough forgot my buzzer code. Throwing back to a scene from several Live From Last Week episodes ago. <laughs> Woo! Yo, I just got a delivery from this guy. Anyways, today was the day that my cousin Louie came and visited us, bringing some of this delicious chicken takeout for us to enjoy for lunch. We also got to catch a couple of Netflix specials from one of our favorite Filipino stand-up comedians. The one and only Cho Koi. Watching his Live From LA Forum comedy special, which, if you guys have watched the special, I honestly started to cry laugh while he was talking about CPAP machines and ghosts, as well as one of his other Netflix movies called Easter Sunday. A good, wholesome Filipino-American comedy, of which I really related to while watching. Anyways, it's time to go and rest up for tonight, because we got an event to go to downtown, which I really looked forward to attending since earlier this week. So after attending another online Sunday Mass this morning, I traveled for the first time in several years on the Harbor Front TTC streetcar to come here to HTO Park, visiting for the first time in a while, just like this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, welcoming once again the good old Theodore Tugboat. Welcome back to Toronto, buddy! Anyways, after stopping by here for just five minutes to say hi. Hi, Yukari! Hi. Ready? One, two, three, cheese! Next on the agenda, we're off to rendezvous for some rendezvous brews. <laughs>
after a great time at the Toronto Craft Beer Festival with Sam, my wife, and Robert. I am now here in the Chinatown area, walking here for the first time in a long time, ready to do a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with a quick birthday greeting to my cousin-in-law, wife to Argy, and mother to Johan. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Shin Li. Happy birthday, Shin Li. As well, a quick birthday shout out to one of my elementary school and high school friends, who I'm remembering was on the Keon Select team with me. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Miller. Happy birthday, Miller. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, back to being in the Chinatown area for the first time in a while. The wife and I, after that festival, are going to this Toronto must try place, a restaurant called Juicy Dumplings. Juicy dumpling. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Dip it in here. Mmm. Eat it, Baba. You know? Oh, it just explodes in your mouth and all this juicy flavor. <laughs> Spray all over my face. So today was mainly just a rest day. Fully enjoying the fact that it's the last day out of my seven day stretch off of work. Monday, I have Tuesday, I have Wednesday, I have Thursday, I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come on. But also being a somber day, since this morning we caught the funeral procession on TV of the great Queen Elizabeth II. But yeah, after spending the whole day indoors, the wife and I are getting ready to go downtown to Koreatown to meet up a couple of our friends for some dinner which hopefully you guys will check out in next week's Live From Last Week episode. And before we wrap it up for this week, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a friend that I made back at Good Shepherd and at St. Stephen's, who I'm remembering was a great basketball and baseball player back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andreas. Happy birthday, Andreas as well as a birthday greeting to one of our friends whose wedding we attended already almost 12 months ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes this week's Lab From Last Week episode. So again, if you guys have liked what you've been watching, feel free to follow G Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from J Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.